Hello, my name is Audrey and today we are doing a Christmas wish list gift guide for 2022. It is almost November, it's October right now. I just sent my Christmas wish list to my mom. I'm already in that mindset so I thought I would just make a video. So what's going to be in this video? One, I have over 50 items. I know a lot of them are like over 100 and I get like really overwhelmed by those videos so these are like the top 50 things. Everything on this list either I have and I would recommend that you ask for it or two, I personally, it's on my wish list. Everything will be linked below. I'm also gonna section this video off by clothes, accessories, things, and products. Let's get into it. First, we're gonna start with clothes. The Free People One Scout Jacket number one thing number one favorite clothing item everyone asks me where it's from they have so many colors i have the tan i really want like the purple they sell out but they always restock so just keep your eye on it i love the oversized look i got a size small also from free people free people movement this tank top is my new favorite thing i wear it all the time i have it in tan i asked for two more colors it is so soft but still like an athletic material i dress it up with jeans or i can dress it down with leggings literally love it my favorite sweatpants right now the aritzia tna cozy fleece mega sweatpants they have a few different kinds of sweatpants but these are the best they're oversized they're soft i've washed them a few times they've held up great i have gray i asked for like two more colors okay the lululemon essentials my favorite workout top right now is the ebb to street tank top i have it in like a light blue i asked for more colors lululemon align high rise pants in 28 inches lululemon hottie hot high rise 2.5s those are shorts that i also love to work out in the high rise specifically and then the lululemon scuba i have always wanted one of these and i literally never pull the trigger some of these things on the list i'm gonna buy myself for christmas keep that in mind so mom if you're watching this don't freak out if these weren't on my list i have a lululemon gift card and i just i need to pull the trigger on buying a scuba i think i'm a medium large i like that oversized look and then socks perfect Perfect stocking stuffers. Free People Movement ruffle socks. These socks are expensive, but like I love them. I have one pair. I would love just like another one. Aritzia socks. These are also pretty expensive. Not as expensive as Free People Movement socks. We're going like highest to lowest, but they're thick. They're a great ankle sock. These are all ankle socks, by the way. I just, I'm really into ankle socks. Then the affordable one, which honestly is very comparable to the last two, these socks on Amazon. They're not as thick as the past two, but they still like look good and do the job. Moving on to accessories. My favorite part in life, bags first. A Lululemon belt bag. They are just like always coming out with new colors, so just keep an eye out. I have the opal, and if they ever come out with an opal again, I am going to run. Also, just bought their like furry one in black. Love them all. So perfect. Worth the hype. Then I recently got this white purse from Amazon, and I love it. It is so like stylish. It's super high quality and just like a perfect little addition to an outfit. The Marc Jacobs tote in size mini literally my favorite bag literally the perfect size fits my water bottle fits my wallet but isn't like huge i have like a pretty print but i love the black i also kind of want the large one um but don't know if i want two mark jacobs totes or if i should get like a different large tote but the mini is a must it comes with like a long strap and short handles it's just the perfect bag then ray-ban sunglasses i have two pairs and i just think they're such high quality they last forever it's so nice to have a high quality pair of sunglasses and i know like in the winter you might not think about it but it's a great thing to ask for moving on to jewelry also still in accessories okay e newton bracelets i asked for these last year i asked for more this year i have two on my wrist now i never take them off they're such high quality i shower in them they're just like a perfect little dainty addition my rings that i have that i would recommend that everyone asks for so i'm just linking them to my a ring from james avery i got it for christmas maybe six years ago and i still wear it and it still looks great james avery rings are just like top tier quality and a really good price for the quality so yeah one of my favorite christmas gifts from like forever ago okay the kendra scott jack ring i love i had it and 
lost it. The Kendra Scott Bennett double band ring. I have on my middle finger, also doesn't tarnish. The Kendra Scott Andy band. This one's new and is on my wish list. I love this. I just don't really have a finger for it right now, so I don't know if I want it right now. Okay, earrings. Anthropology hoop set. I'm wearing like one of the hoops. It is a great price for three pairs of earrings and there's like a little one for every day and then two a little bit like medium sized hoops. Anthropology big pearl hoops, which I also have between all of these. I always have a pair of pearl earrings to wear. Shoes, cloud slides. I have pink ones. I just, I love these cream ones. I wear them all the time in my sorority house last year and I still wear them a lot. Then my on cloud, cloud nova shoes. Everyone asks where these are from. I got these for Christmas last year for my boyfriend. One of my favorite gifts also. They're sold out in this color right now, but I linked it below. I know they restock, so maybe right now they're in stock. Definitely go keep checking. I like these for working out or just like cute shoes. And then for running, I love Hoke guys. Um, this cream pair is literally like so gorgeous. I want it really bad. I'm just waiting for my other Hoke to die out a little before I buy the new ones. Those I wear for running and walking and they just like great support for my foot and they look cute. Okay, and then the Boston Birkenstocks. I feel like these are a little controversial. In my mind they were because I literally thought they were so ugly when they first started getting popular, but now they're really growing on me and I kind of want a pair. They remind me of slippers. There's this one pair with fur in them, so it's literally like slippers. I just feel like they're more like socially acceptable to wear to class than slippers, so I would love a pair of those or just like the regular ones without fur. Now on to things. A Barefoot Dreams blanket. The comfiest blanket you will ever have. I linked it below. They have it at Nordstrom Rack right now for I think 40% off. So it's a great deal and they have a few colors. Just so soft. I just love a good blanket. Um, okay, I've won a Stanley Cup. I still don't have one. I like can't believe it. 40 ounce. They have like really pretty pastel colors right now that I asked for. But I did tell my mom like they sell out quickly. So I don't know. <laughs> But I gave her three color options, so hopefully I get one of those. Anthropology candles, they have a lot of the like blue capri volcano candles that are really pretty. I love that scent. I have it in my apartment now. These candles also last a really long time. Was going to put on my list the like aesthetic cube candles. But I just feel like I know that the anthropology candles just smell so good. And I think that's worth it to me more than like an aesthetic looking candle because the anthropology ones are still pretty. Glass straws, which are kind of random, but I got them for my birthday. They're just amazing to sip out of. Okay, a Sonicare toothbrush. I just got a new one because mine broke from like two years ago. It's just great. And if you don't have an electric toothbrush, that's like definitely a good investment to ask for. An ice roller. I really want one of these because right now I use like literal ice cubes and you just keep it in your freezer and it depuffs your face in the morning or after you cry, stuff like that. The Revlon hot airbrush. I have this right now I think it's a great beginner and I've learned to love it at first I like did not know how it works with that being said it's like a great cheaper alternative to the Dyson air wrap which is also on my list I know this was like huge last year but last year I wasn't really using my Revlon hairbrush so I was like mmm like I don't love it but now that I've like mastered the airbrush I really want to buy myself a Dyson air wrap especially because it has like so many other attachments my Revlon ones kind of dying out I've had it for like almost two years and so that's gonna be my next purchase and it's on my Christmas list for myself. Okay, Colleen Hoover books were huge for me this year and if you haven't read them, Christmas is the perfect time to ask for these books. Favorite ones, you have to read It Ends With Us and they just come out with the sequel, It Starts With Us. So if you already read It Ends With Us, definitely ask for the sequel. Ugly Love and Reminders of Him are my top faves. Okay, and then a portable speaker. I right now use like my Echo Dot when I'm in my room, but I want one that I can like take somewhere. Mainly I wanted one when I was living in LA to take to the beach. Now I don't live by a beach, so it's not really a priority for me, but I found this little cute one on Amazon. Okay, and then last like thing that I can't really link is Soul Cycle classes. For any workout classes, I also started going to Berries. I think that's a great thing to ask for just because it's a fun activity, it will get you moving. It's like a fun thing to give to. Last category, products. This is gonna be, I mean, these are just products, makeup products, hair products. We're just gonna get into it. Dry bar heat protectant. I use this on my dry hair, love it. Amika dry shampoo. Also love this one. If I needed to restock, I would ask for them again. 3-in-1 dry bar spray. I am just like in need for any hairspray, texture spray. Like I literally don't own hairspray. Probably why my curls always fall out, but 
yeah. Mighty Patches, always great to restock, great stocking stuffers. Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, I just started using Olaplex and I love it. I can actually really see a difference in my hair, but it's expensive, so would be great to get it for Christmas. EOS shaving cream, have used it for years. Also just like a great thing to have in your stocking and stock up on. Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer. I always stock up on my moisturizer and face wash, which is great because Clinique can get expensive, but I literally will not use any other moisturizer because it's my favorite. So that's definitely on the list. And then the Elta Tinted Sunscreen is one of my favorites right now. I put it on every day and I think having a sunscreen that you love is very important. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury blush the glowgasm one everyone knows it and if you don't have it you need it it's amazing i actually am realizing i literally forgot to put it on for this video but i did put on the charlotte tilbury cream bronzer there's also the liquid version but when i went into the charlotte tilbury store i tried both and i just loved the cream bronzer it's super easy to apply and it looks great and then glossier stuff thebomb.com great stocking stuffer again and just like so cute they just came out with a swiss miss one the perfecting skin tint is my favorite thing ever i don't really wear foundation so that's what i put on my skin and it's super light and it looks great and then the glossier boy brow any eyebrow products i'm not super picky but if i had to choose i love the Glossier Boy Brow. Okay, that's my list. Over 50 things of what I'm asking for Christmas, what I've asked for Christmas in the past, and would recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Oh, the sun's finally coming out. Um, <laughs> just when the video is ending. Again, everything will be linked below. Literally copy and paste it and send it around as your list. Also linked below my Instagram, TikTok. Go subscribe as well. I love you all so, so much. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays. I will see y'all in my next video. I don't know if you can hear the sirens. I also don't know if you can hear the construction. If both of those things are loud. I'm sorry. It's also raining, so I have multiple sounds in the background, but what am I going to do?